Uh, I had a request for a cold frosty morning and thought I'd go ahead and uh, play that. It's in a modal tuning. I'll play it a couple times and then I'll sort of break it down, slow it down, teach it a little bit. And uh, so you're in an A modal tuning, you capo out at the second fret. Oops, sorry, as you can see. So your fifth string is tuned to A. Your third string is also tuned to A, just an octave below. Um, your fourth string and your first string are tuned to E, and then your second string is a D. From a straight A tuning, you'd have tuned up to D here. Um, I'll let me just play it a little bit to just kind of show you how it goes and remind myself how it goes and stuff like that. Notice that this tune is a truly modal tune. It's the first part is quite major. In fact, if you were playing with a guitar player, then you wouldn't have to bother to play this this kind of awkward A chord in the beginning. Um, but you want to at least imply that if you're playing by yourself, um, because otherwise it's going to sound kind of minor right in the beginning, where it really should be major, because of this, you know. That's a kind of a minor thing. Though those strings are kind of ringing a bit, um, it's gonna have a major, a minor feel. There's your A major chord. Oops. Um, or you can cheat a little bit and just play those top strings. There's your fifth fret. That's your second fret. Um, if you're just playing with a guitar player or, or a piano player or something that somebody's playing that A major chord, then don't even bother. You just hit the first string only, and they're going to fill in that A chord, that A major chord. So that's so the the tune starts da 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 da. da. So you could hammer this on. So I'm just going hammer on diddy bum diddy. And then you could go. Or you could go hammer on diddy bum diddy. I'm going to give you lots of choices in this tune because I never play it the same way twice. 
So. Okay, there's your first line, second line. Oops. So. that is still a major sounding thing. Um, not, which is what you would expect it. But you don't want that. That note's important. Okay, now it changes into a more minor sounding thing. I'm really, um, just go, if you wanted to make it simple, and that's fine, that's bum diddy on the open third string, there, also on your third string, second string, first string, um, or I think what I did there also to jazz it up a little, I just put in a drop thumb, whatever, take it or leave it. Um, and then you could just go bum, bum, in simplif simplified, you'd go bum, diddy, pull off, bum, bum, diddy, bum, diddy, or you could hammer that on, that first note, hammer on, diddy, pull off, bum, bum, diddy, and then you play that whole part again. Okay, kind of like that. Anything approximating that. Okay, here's your B part. Okay, let's, um, let's, so this is hammer on, that's on your fourth string, the third fret. Hammer on, diddy, bum, diddy, or hammer on, diddy, bum, diddy. I guess that's preferable. Where your, uh, your diddy is right on the fourth string. string bum diddy open. So again that's okay. Now I'm making this G chord. Okay. So that just get used to where that goes. It's here and here. And then your index finger is here. It's like um well anyway. tricky little bit to play. Um, it's, that's your fourth string that you're heading there, and then pull off, bum, bum. So bum, pull off, bum, bum. All I'm doing here is just hitting it. Okay, and then string diddy pull off pull off diddy did, yeah bum diddy pull off diddy did, bum diddy so that that thumb that first diddy that thumb is just to keep your timing right and it's kind of an awkward move I mean it's an it's an awkward bit of this tune. So, so far here's what we have on the B part. 
And here's the, the last line, the B part. So it's bum, diddy, pull off, bum, open third string. You could also pull off that fourth string. Bum, diddy, pull off, bum. Goosey version um, of uh, Cold Frosty Morning, but um, uh, I wanted to request. I thought I'd oblige. All right.